Hey gang, welcome back. Big John here with you, learning to survive. Wanted to do a little short video of a knife that I got in my last uh, alpha box from Survival Boxes that eh, I didn't get to go into as much detail as I would like. I mean, this is not gonna be like a full on review. I'm not gonna take this sucker out in the woods and beat the crap out of it. But I wanna give you a little more detail on the knife because <laughs> I think it's a pretty cool knife. I talked to some other people and they like it as well. So without further ado, let's get into the knife. Now, this is the knife itself in the sheath. This is the Cold Steel Bushman Bowie. Now this sucker is made out of one piece of high carbon steel. Okay, let me throw that down right there. Uh, as you can see, the handle, the blade, everything is made out of one piece of high carbon steel. There are no seams, no joints, no nothing. This sucker is made out of one piece of steel. That's pretty crazy for me as it is, but man, that's nice. And the handle is hollow. Hollow, hollow, hollow. Don't ask me, I don't, I don't know what that was. Um, but you can, and uh, there's a little, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, there's a little hole right, see my finger in there. There's a little hole right there where you can put a screw, a dowel, a wooden dowel, or whatever to, if you put a big stick or a branch or whatever in here, and then drive that in there and wrap it with some cordage, some uh, paracord, something like that. And you can turn this sucker into one hell of a spear. Okay, I mean, can you imagine this on the end of a six foot stick? Yeah, buddy. Be killing some zombies with this baby right here. Okay, all right. Now, let's get into some specifications. <clears throat> the blade length is seven inches. The overall length is 12 and one quarter inches. The steel is SK5 high carbon. The weight is 10.1 ounces. The blade thickness is 2.55 milliliters. Let me give you a little uh, little synopsis here that uh, they put on the back of the packaging. For the money, the Bushman series of survival knives are hard to beat. Unlike the majority of hollow handled knives, there is no joint or seam between the blades and the handles. Instead, the Bushman's blade and handles are forged out of a single piece of SK-5 high carbon steel. The resulting knives are expertly heat treated and tempered to RC-54 and, when subjected to our tests, have withstood over two tons of pressure of the, on their blade slash handle transition. Every Bushman has been carefully ground to an extra thin edge and then honed and buffed by hand until razor sharp. Their hollow handles will accept survival supplies or a variety of handle extensions which can maximize reach, leverage, or ease of throwing. Yeah, baby. Throwing. It's available in two blade style, standard and bowie point. Both feature curved blades that are ideal for skinning and a multitude of bushcraft chores. Both com come complete with a secure X sheath, which houses a high quality ferrocium fire steel. And it does. Right there. That's your sheath, and that's your ferro rod. 
<laughs> Just a little added plus right there. <clears throat> and of course, the sheath you can uh, fit it right over your belt or whatever you want to do. You can hook it onto your pack, whatever. Now, I was quite impressed with this thing coming right out of the box, okay? Um, I mean, you don't expect to see something like this coming out of the alpha boxes, survival boxes. It says it's razor sharp. Razor sharp. Let's give it a test. And like I said, I'm not going to beat this thing up. I'm not going to go crazy. We're not going to go out in, out in the woods and uh, tear it up. Especially since it's about mm, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'm not positive, but I don't think my neighbors would appreciate it. I think I get the cops called on me. Maybe. So we're going to test it with the, the all-time test. I'm going to do with a little uh, paper here. Now, I'm not going to chop down on it. I'm not going to come from a crazy angle. We're going to try it from right here. And let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we should try it at an angle. Yeah, an angle. We'll do that. We'll try this at an, an angle. And we'll just try to... I mean, something like this can't be that sharp. It can't. I mean, it's one piece of high carbon steel. I mean, surely they're exaggerating you know, about how sharp. <clears throat> I mean, if you really. I mean, if we were to. I'm sh you. If we. No, okay, I'm running out of paper. <laughs> You, oh my goodness. I did, I'm, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Um, we're going to go with razor sharp. I, you saw it. I mean, that, wow. I mean, I really didn't. I'm going to be honest. I, just, I don't know why I didn't think it would do that, but I just didn't. It, 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 hmm. Holy crap. You know, we're going to skip the paracord test. We're going to go to something uh, a little stiffer. <clears throat> we're going to try some cardboard. <clears throat> this is a big piece, so I'm just, I'm going to give it a little slack. I'm putting a little force on it. This is cardboard. You ever try to cut cardboard with your EDC knife?
mean, some of you guys are saying, ah, uh, you're just cutting little pieces. Well, I guess what? I'm not holding the other piece. There's no tension, so it's doing all the cutting on its own. And, I mean, I don't... I've never had one of these knives. I don't own one of these knives. Nobody sent me this knife uh, for free to... I want to do like some pages and go. But, uh, <clears throat> <it's... clears throat> yeah. Uh, we'll go with razor sharp. <laughs> we'll go with that. I mean, this thing is ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Did you see that? I mean, I don't know why I didn't expect it to be that sharp. Maybe because it's, I mean, we're not gonna go with a bargain blade, but I mean, it's like a, this is like a $50, you know, it's not a $200, $300. I mean, I can even, uh, where was it? Somewhere there was a, I saw a little blemish. The blade. <laughs> Maybe all that cutting took it out. So, cold steel uh, is not known as your top end knife maker, right? You guys know knives, you know, I mean, cold steels. I mean, they're a good knife, but holy crap. I mean, did, <laughs> did you see what this thing did? Razor sharp. Uh, now I will say, and again, this is something that I'm not able to do right now. I'm curious because it is a little heavy. I'm curious how this thing does as a chopper. So that may be a future video. Now, I will say this. I have bought a couple of different kinds of tape to wrap around the handle because the handle is round. And while it does... I don't know if you can hear that. It does have a little grip to it. I have the feeling that when it got wet or huh, bloody, that it would get a little slippery. So we would need to have some grip. So I bought a couple of different kinds of grip tape to wrap the handle because I just, I just don't think it's going to be enough grip. I think it's going to need a little something else. Um, but all in all, man, wow. I'm very impressed. I mean, it's it's a it's a good knife. It's solid. I mean, obviously it's solid. It's made out of one piece of high carbon steel. So, I mean, it's not like you have to go, well, is it full tang? Is it that? It's just one damn piece of steel. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> You know, you can't question, it's just, I mean, there's not even, look at this. Even on the side where it's folded, there's not a seam. There's nothing. Look at that. There is no seam on the knife. None. You can't even tell, like, where it was folded in half. You, you just can't. I'm very impressed with this thing. Very impressed. I mean, this may not be your go-to survival knife, but I'm telling you, man, this thing, this thing, this thing will do some damage. Okay. Now, you know, we'll have to take it outside. We'll have to do a little chopping, see what it's up to. But just general consensus, man, I'm impressed with this knife especially that i got it from survival boxes and their alpha box i mean a little bit of gear this is not a little bit of gear guys this is not a little bit of gear i'm gonna stop saying a little bit of gear i'm just gonna start saying gear <laughs> survival boxes had made me change my vernacular Okay, and that's a big word for a southern boy, so, I mean, don't look it up or anything. I could be using it in the wrong context. Context is a big word for a southern boy, come to think of it. 
Um, maybe I should stop talking. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm impressed with the Cold Steel Bushman Bowie. I mean, great knife. Hey, man, survival boxes, boom. Knocking it out of the park again. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I love my troops. Thank you for your service. I appreciate everything you do. And guys, I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell so you get notifications when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching me. And guys, you and me together, we're learning to survive. Until next time, I'll see you.